Good day to all. I would like to give special thanks to Professor Madia, Dr. Siti Halija, for giving us the opportunity to share our group case study, which is on our nation's pride patronus. We have titled today's presentation as Journey Towards Business Sustainability, Social Responsibility, and Resources Efficiency. We'll be looking at a subsidiary under Petronas called Petronas Gasperhad and the sustainable development goals undertaken by them. Our team is comprised of myself, Callum, the lovely Miss Debbie Annabelle, and our dashing bachelor, Mr. Welzan Simon. Without further ado, let me introduce the group's case study, Petronas Gasperhad. Petronas Gasperhad, or PGB in short, is Malaysia's leading gas infrastructure and utilities company with core businesses in gas processing, gas transmission, and regasification. The company processes natural gas piped from offshore fields and transports the processed gas via the Peninsula Gas Utilization (PGU) pipeline network to Petronas customers in Malaysia and Singapore. PGB was incorporated in 1983 as a wholly owned subsidiary of Petronas as has been providing the sustainability report to their stakeholder and public since 2007. United Nations has in total set up 17 sustainable development goals in its mission to achieve a better and more sustainable future for all people and the world by 2030. Out of the 17, PGB is in support of eight UN SDGs, where they believe they can contribute greatest towards impact to society. These are good health and well-being, number three, SDG four, quality education, SDG seven, affordable and clean energy, SDG eight, decent work and economic growth, SDG twelve, responsible consumption and production, SDG 13, Climate Action, SDG 14, Life Below Water, and last but not least, SDG 15, Life on Land. Out of the eight SDGs, we as a group will be looking into SDG 8, which is defined as promote, promote sustained, inclusive and sustainable economic growth, full and productive employment, and decent work for all. SDG 8 has 12 targets in total to achieve by 2030 and for this study, we will relate to 5 targets towards our chosen sustainable operational management decisions, which are sustainable economic growth, diversify, innovate and upgrade for economic productivity, promote policies to support job creation and growing enterprises, improve resource efficiency in consumption and production, and full pro employment and decent work with equal pay. The strategic operational management decisions we will be relating to towards our chosen SDG number eight would be design of goods and services, as well as human resources, job design, and work measurement. Now let's talk a little bit about the strategic operation management decision that we have chose. The first one, design of goods and services. So in this strategic operation management decision uh, of designs of goods and services, it is most important to know that great products are keys to success. Anything less than an excellent product strategy can be devastating to a firm. Many companies focus only on a few products and then concentrate on those products. An effective product strategy link product decision with investment, market share and product life cycle and defines the breadth of the product line. The objective of the product decision is to develop and implement a product strategy that meets the demand of the marketplace with a competitive advantage. That means it is very important in the product decision to have the selection, definition, and design of products. 
Most products have limited and predictable life cycle, so new products need to be designed, developed, and tech to market. Now we will go to the second strategic operation management decisions of our choosing, which is human resources, job design, and work measurement. The objective of a human resource strategy is to manage personnel and design jobs so people are effectively and efficiently utilized. As we focus on a human resource strategy, we want to ensure that people are efficiently utilized within the constraint of other operation management decisions mm -hmm. and have a reasonable quality of work life in an atmosphere of mutual commitment and trust. This will entail labor planning, a means of determining staffing policies dealing with employment stability, work schedule, and work rules. Patronus Gasper Hart has laid out three sustainability strategies in where my fellow team members will elaborate on further later on. The first being sustainable business, whereby it mentions being a progressive partner anchoring on operational and commercial excellence as well as growth. The second is social responsibility, commitment towards health and safety, security and environment, or caring for internal talents and society. Thirdly, resource efficiency, whereby it looks at efficient use of resources towards sustainable future generation. Gens Berhad, first sustainable strategy is business sustainability. So in order for PGB to promote sustained, inclusive and sustainable economic growth, PGB have to diversify its company into integrated solution in anticipation of gas market liberalizations. In 2019, they introduced Gassing Up and Cooling Down, or shortly known as GUCD services. And in 2020, they have added liquefied natural gas or LNG reloading as part of Petronas bunkering service. These ancillary services available at the regasification terminals aim to provide value added services to vessel plying the regional line. As part of Petronas' newly launched Virtual Pipeline System or VPS project, they have also launched LNG truck loading service at the LNG regasification terminal in Pengarang to extend the reach of gas currently unserved market caused by a lack of pipeline connectivity. Since its commissioning in September 2020, they have completed 65 truck loadings in the year 2020. At the same time, PGB is strategically positioning itself to expand the core generation business. The core generation assets in utilities, Kurti and Gabang, are capable of generating electricity at high level of efficiency with lower amount of fuel gas. Since this energy is generated on site, the load on the power network is minimized and transmission line losses are prevented. They believe that by putting forward these efforts, they will be able to motivate the customer to use more sustainably while also reducing their carbon footprint. There may also be potential growth in gas demand from the power sector as most coal-fired plants are anticipated to be retired and replaced by gas-fired power plants in the near future. Petronas Gas Berhad therefore has the option either to supply more gas or to venture into a power generation business. In this regard, their knowledge and expertise in running and maintaining gas-fired power plant in Kimanis is an added advantage. The choice for a gas as a cleaner alternative fuel has become increasingly apparent as the world transition into a higher mix of renewable energy. To this, they will continue to develop and strengthen the infrastructure and pursue opportunities to play a significant role in creating a cleaner future 
for sustainable strategies number two is about social responsibility and this is very much related to sustainable development goals number eight which is to promote full and productive employment and decent work for all and according to strategic operation uh, management decision this is very much related to SOMD number six which is human resources job design and also work measurement so as a global energy player Petronas offers opportunities worldwide and then the quality of their people is the reason PGB has the distinction of being the only Malaysian company rank in fortune magazines global 500 list of the world's largest corporations in the world and then they were also named most attractive employer in Malaysia for 2018 according to Randstad employer brand research and was also ranked among the top five best companies for leadership in Asia by Hay Group in 2013 so how does PGB do this so this is of course human capital management and then based on recruitment itself PGB uh, recruit person based on merit only the more suitable qualified and competent individuals are selected for hire and then they prioritize the recruitment based on the criticality of the position and successfully last year they recruited 19 talents of which 100% are Malaysians and then of course they introduce talent mix strategy they seek to bring aboard a diverse workforce for the value that different opinions and perspective broadening their viewpoints on enhancing their decision making all right so they develop this talent mix strategy to enable empowered organization agile workforce as well as diversity and inclusion and then the next one is of course on capability management management whereby they are empowered by uh, opportunities on job training 70 percent and then uh, 20 percent is coupled with coaching and networking and classroom learning 10 percent to meet the demands of the ever-changing business environment all right and then the fourth one is on RASISCO itself, whereby this program is on scaling up talent competencies. So with the successful implementation of pilot group, uh, mechanical discipline in 2019, RASISCO journey continues to scale up in 2020 to all technical and business executives. So what does this program do? This program aims to deliver empowered, uh, enable and agile talent fit for purpose, flexible career pathing that maximizes opportunity and technical talent cluster that guides staff career pathing. So of course, this program is supervised by a superior managed assessment, SMA. And then the fifth one is on intensive five virtual and also uh, digital learning experience so to complement the Petronas uh, new way of working due to COVID-19 they have uh, introduced intensify uh, virtual and digital learning uh, among staff via Microsoft team and then they have this my learning 42 Harvard managed mentor HMM modules and 41 modules under the HMM to enable a more personalized learning experience and they have this switch and apps that equip staff with the latest knowledge on cybersecurity, agile way of working and digital initiatives, information to reach staff anytime, anywhere, right? And then of course, uh, Petronas, PGB, they have this leadership development whereby they focus on uh, Petronas top talent management value all right, to ensure business continuity where position remain filled with competent uh, person, succession plan is a must. So last year, they have conducted and completed 99 identified PGB critical position in order to ensure that continuity of plan operation. And then the second one is on the Petronas leadership uh, enroll development program whereby this program enhance the effectiveness of new managers and senior management in leading self, leading others and leading change 
and leading business. So riding on this, during the year, PGB identified 26 new managers and senior management staff to attend the Leadership in Role Development Program offered virtually by Petronas Leadership Center virtually. Alright, and then the third one is on Nurturing Young Leaders Program whereby this program focused on a 70-20-10 blended learning approach 93 executives has been identified to undergo the program and then this has been organized internally last year via virtual trainings, job attachment and mentoring program with PGB uh, leaders. And then the fourth one is on PGB a Nurturing Potential Coach Development Program whereby new program for selected executives are trained based on coaching criteria. All right. And then if you look at the, the uh, staff benefits, there are six benefits for staff under PGB. The first one is on medical benefits, flexible working hours, compressed work week, CWW, whereby they have a compressed working hour scheme, and then flexible work arrangement, Petronas Cliché, Care and Learning Center for Staff Children and also Staff Discount and Selected Petronas uh, Merchandise. So all these uh, multiple benefits are enjoyed by the staff working for the company to ensure life and work balance and happy environment at home. Alright, so for the next resource efficiency, I will hand over to Debbie. So over to you Debbie. Thank you. As for the third sustainable strategy, PGB strives for resource efficiency towards sustainable future generation. Since 2009, PGB priority has been focusing on plan optimization and efficiency. The outcome has truly been remarkable and they are proud to announce that they have managed to substantially reduce energy intensity and maintenance costs spent at their facilities. This has resulted in an overall value creation of 97.7 million ringgit under the GAM plan. Despite the size of the operation, the greenhouse gas or GHG emission remains below their target limit of 5 million ton and PGB had reduced the carbon emission from 4.4 million ton in 2019 to 3.7 million ton in 2020. This is also achieved via the installation of solar photovoltaic system, installation of best available technique or BAT for air emission monitoring and control, and 3R program by reusing span catalysts and Benfield solution. The Pengarang core generation plant had also reduced the total nitrogen oxide emission by the company. Lastly, PGB are also working towards the life cycle assessment or LCA process for their product to be able to better assess product sustainable performance with regard to the social, economic and ecological impact and to understand the trade-off between the impacts and the different life cycles of the product. In conclusion, Petronas Gasperhat had successfully implemented their sustainability strategies in line with our sustainable development goal number eight and also strategic operation management decision number one and number six. Economically, the dividends paid is 2.6 billion ringgit in 2020 with tax paid of 390.4 million ringgit and employee compensation of 346.8 million ringgit. With that, we'd like to end our presentation for today. Thank you.